to assemble your clarinet for use. So you're gonna wanna start with your mouthpiece. It looks like this, nothing on it, nothing on it. But while you're putting your clarinet together, I would highly recommend sucking on your reed so that it gets moist. So by the time you're done putting everything together and you put the reed on it to start playing, you're able to just go straight into practice. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mouthpiece and your, and your barrel, and you're gonna put cork grease around right here, not too much so that it doesn't start slipping, but not too little to where the cork dries out and it could potentially crack. So you're gonna take the small part of it and this, and you're just gonna go ahead and put them together like this. So it should look like this. Next, you're gonna take the top part of the clarinet, which is this part. It has the thumb hole on the back right here, and it doesn't have a lot of keys up here. That's how you can tell the difference between the top part and the bottom part. And you're gonna take this piece of cork right here, and you're gonna connect it to the bottom of the barrel. So, by the end, this opening on the mouthpiece should line up with the octave key on the top part. After that, you're going to take the bottom part of the clarinet, which is the one, in my opinion, with the most keys. You can identify it by like <laughs> these four right here. And what you want to do is you want to hold down the D key so that this little tiny part right here, I don't know if you can see it moving, doesn't like clash into this part and ruin thing. So then you're going to put those two together. So your clarinet should look <laughs> it's really long, like this so far. And you want to make sure that the thumb hole right here is lined up with the thumb, thumb holder. I say you put your right hand thumb underneath it to hold it. And then the last part is going to be to take the bell and put it on the end of your clarinet. Remember, make sure that the cork is not dry. So then you're just gonna, just like that. And then that's how you put the clarinet together. So it should look like this. I'll try to step back like this. All right. And then when, since you've been sucking on your reed and it should be moist by now, you're gonna take the reed and put it on with the ligature. So let me get a reed, hold on. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So you're going to take your reed. So reeds look like this. And you want to put it like, I'd say, you want to make sure that there's still a little, just a tiny, tiny, like a nail. Like, you know when you look at your nails like this from the palm and you can see a little bit of your nail tipping over? That's kind of what you want with this. So it should look like this, not too much, but not a lot. So then you're gonna unscrew these screws on the ligature and you're gonna go ahead. <laughs> you're gonna put it on here and you wanna make sure that you can see just I don't even, how do I, just a little bit of the U part of the reed, and you want to put it right underneath there and start screwing it tight. This way the reed stays in place and you don't have to worry about it while you're playing. And there you go. This is what your clarinet will look like in the end with the ligature on it and the reed. And as you can see the reed, oh, that's a little too much, it's okay. So yeah, you felt like this, like a nail. And yeah, that is how you put your clarinet together. Have fun playing, practice. Practice makes better. Practice doesn't make perfect. You can only get better.